On-time airlines flights from Boston to Atlanta are on time 70% of the time. Suppose 12 flights are randomly selected and the number of on-time flights is recorded. We want to find the probabilities below and we're asked to express each answer as a decimal to four decimal places and a percent to two decimal places. So the first thing to recognize here is that we do have a binomial probability distribution where and the number of trials is 12 because 12 flights are randomly selected and because the flights are on time 70% of the time, P, the probability of success is equal to 70%, which is a decimal is equal to 0 0.7. In this video, we will only be using the T84 to determine the probabilities. The first probability is the probability that exactly three flights are on time, which is the probability the random variable x is equal to three. So because our probability is a probability x equals three, we will be using the binomial PDF function on the T84, not the binomial CDF function. When using the binomial PDF function, in parentheses we enter n comma p comma the value, where the value is the value that x is equal to. So in our case, we will enter binom PDF, and then in parentheses we have n which is 12, p which is 0 0.7, and the value of x is 3. Going to the T84, from the home screen we press second vars for the distributions menu. If we press the up arrow, we want option A, binomial CDF. With A highlighted, press enter. Number of trials is 12, enter. P is 0 0.7, enter. X is 3, enter, enter, and enter one more time. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0015, which is equal to 0.15%. Next, we want the probability that at most four flights are on time. This would be the probability that x is less than or equal to four. At most four would mean zero, one, two, three, or four flights are on time, which is x less than or equal to four. Because we have the probability x is less than or equal to four, we will now use the binomial CDF function, and then once again in parentheses enter n comma p comma the value, which our value now is four, because our inequality is x less than or equal to four. So we will enter binom CDF, and then in parentheses we enter 12 comma 0 0.7 comma 4. So it is important to remember if we have equals we use binomial PDF. If we have less than or equal to we use binomial CDF. Going back to the calculator we press second vars for the distributions menu press the up arrow. Now we want option B for binomial CDF Press enter, trials 12, enter, p 0 0.7, enter, x value is four, enter, enter on paste, and enter one more time. We have approximately 0 0.0095, which is equal to 0.95%. The last probability is going to be a little more challenging because of the T84. We want the probability that at least nine flights are on time, which is the probability that X is greater than or equal to nine. The reason this is more challenging is because on the T84, the binomial CDF function only works when X is less than or equal to a particular value. And we have X is greater than or equal to nine, which means to find this probability, we'll have to take one or 100% and subtract the probability that x is less than or equal to eight. Again, the probability that x is greater than or equal to nine, meaning x is equal to nine, 10, 11, or 12, is equal to 100% minus the probability that x is equal to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. On the T84, we do have to find this probability in this way, again, because the binomial CDF function only works when x is in the form of less than or equal to a particular value.
So going back to the graphing calculator, we now enter one minus second vars arrow up to B for binomial CDF, enter. Number of trials, 12, enter. P, 0 0.7, enter. The X value now is eight. Using the inequality, X is less than or equal to eight, not greater than or equal to nine. Enter, enter, and enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.4925. which is equal to 49.25%. So it is important to remember when using the TID4, if we have a probability where the probability of X is greater than or equal to a particular value, we do have to rewrite it as one minus a probability where X is less than or equal to a particular value. I hope you found this helpful.